Scorpion News is a public forum for student expression. Students make all content decisions, and opinions do not necessarily represent those of the HUSD. What's up, Scorpions? I'm Ruthie Noko, your anchor for this week's broadcast. It's our last episode before break, so hope you don't miss us too much next week. Let's get started with a couple announcements. The Spring 2022 Dual Enrollment College classes are now open for signups. The classes being offered are Art, Sociology, English, Auto, Biology, and Animations. In order to enroll, you will need to complete an interest form that you can find in an email from Ms. Rubio. The next steps will be listed in that same email. Some of these courses do have an age restriction, so be sure to check if you fit into that. It is also recommended to have a 2.5 GPA or higher in order to participate. Speaking of GPA, if you need a little extra help with your classes and want to bring your grades up, be sure to come in for tutoring offered at the library from 7.45 to 8.35 every day of the week, excluding Wednesdays. Here's a video with some more info. You should come to tutoring. You should come to tutoring. program is a really great opportunity for students. Uh, all of these teachers from all the subjects across campus are in one location before school so you can get help with any anything you're struggling with. The tutoring program to students because over the past year and a half uh, a lot of students might have lost some accountability and maybe gotten a little bit lazy so they need a little more accountability with getting their homework done and studying. So it's a great opportunity, so you should come to tutoring if you are struggling in any of your classes. We're all here to help and want you to succeed. I'm sure that those students are definitely making their teachers proud with their improvement in grades. Also, congrats to all the students who received the nomination for Student of the Quarter. You know, it's my third year here and I have yet to receive one. I wonder why my teachers, <coughs> Ms. P, never chose me. It really makes you think about what they consider when choosing, since I'm clearly an outstanding, amazing, talented, and kind student. It must be based on different criteria. What's a five? Now, did you hear me clap once? Did you hear me clap twice? Thank you, class. Um, so this month, I just want you guys to be aware that I am picking student of the month. So I want you guys to be on your best behavior. I'm looking out for some character and people who are uh, collaborating in here. Who do you think is going to get student of the month? I think it's going to be Cole. Honestly, I think it's going to be you or Israel. And definitely not him. So who do you think is going to win? I don't really know, but I got a 4 out of 50 on my test. I don't know. You know what? I think I can win. Are you sure? Because uh, you don't seem fit for it. Ooh. It's on. <laughs> Have a Have good, good day. day! Oh, this is for you because you're my favorite teacher. Oh, this is for me? Yes. I actually got you a trophy too. I customized it. Wow, another trophy. Thank you. You're welcome. Stop, stop. All right, everyone, today's the day I decided to pick today's student of the month. I'm gonna start off the class with a question. So, the question of the day is, what is a rhyme? You, over there. Riddle fiddle? Alright everyone, I've finally made my decision. This month's
student of the quarter is Jeremy. Hoping I get nominated next quarter, but until then, let's all be up to our best behavior this last week before break, and of course, after break as well. It's important to show all five C's in order to be a great student this November. By the way, did you guys know that November is also Indigenous Peoples Month? In order to highlight some talented Indigenous individuals, we made a video. November is Native American History Month. For Indigenous people across the country, it is an opportunity to share their ancestry, traditions, and contributions to their communities they have made today and have made throughout history. It is also an opportunity to commit to teachings of truthful history and sharing uplifting stories that highlight indigenous culture, innovations, and creativity. So here are a couple Native Americans, one of many that we wanted to highlight. First are the Code Talkers. During the times of the war, secure communications can mean the difference between life and death, victory and defeat. In World War I and II, the United States military relied on a unique series of codes to keep its message safe from the enemy. These codes weren't based on cutting-edge technology or complex mathematical equations, though. The first 29 Navajo code talkers created a photonic alphabet and used word substitution to develop an all-unbreakable code. Fighter plane became hummingbird, turtle became tank, battleship became well. By using their native languages, they were able to keep communications undetected. The next highlight is Jim Thorpe. Born in Lincoln County, Oklahoma, Thorpe received multiple awards such as the SI All-Time College All-Star, along with being the first Native American to win an Olympic gold medal. Besides Jim's two Olympic gold medals, he is widely considered the most versatile athlete in modern sports playing professional football, baseball, and basketball. He was considered the world's best athlete, but sadly... He had to return his gold medals when it was determined that he violated the amateur Olympic code by accepting money as a semi-professional baseball player a year before the games. Later in his career, Jim acted in multiple short films and movies, such as Farmer Takes a Wife, Helltown, and She, just to name a few. Next, we have Charlene Teeters. Charlene Teeters is a Native American artist, educator, and lecturer. Her paintings and art installations have been featured in over 21 major exhibits, commissions, and collections. She's a member of the Spokane tribe, and her spoken name is Slumta. Teeters established a racial justice office at the National Congress of American Indians. She rose to a national prominence as a graduate student of the University of Illinois. She led a protest against degrading depictions of American Indians used in sports team mascots and was subject of an award-winning documentary. Lastly is Susan LaFleche Picotte, the first to receive federal aid for a professional education and the first American Indian woman in the United States to receive a medical degree. In her remarkable career, she served more than 1,300 people over 450 square miles, giving financial advice and resolving family disputes. Check out NativeAmericanHeritageMonth.gov and IndianAffairs.gov for more information on the celebration and how their people have made huge impacts and helped their communities. Which reminds me, we here at Asperia High School have also been helping out our communities. We currently have Toys for Tot bins and the student support and a library where you can donate toys for the Marines to give out to children this upcoming Christmas. On the topic of donations, thank you to everyone who participated in donating to the canned food drive this past month. Now that the food drive is over, ASB and the clubs on campus are working hard to make Thanksgiving baskets with the supplies received to give out to families in our community. With more information, Ivan has the story. So every year we ask our clubs and our students to come together and um, put together some Thanksgiving baskets. Um, this year is no different than others except for I know there's a lot more families that are in need. Um, so we've got some clubs working together. We've got a few that are finished now um, and we try to give them to our families who are 
our own Scorpion family that are most in need. So I've asked some students this week if they'd be interested in getting these and receiving them. Um, so on Friday this week, we'll have some students coming in and I'll give them to their families, get them in their cars, and hopefully that they can use these to help have a more happy holiday season. Seeing everyone helping out really makes me feel lots of gratitude. And before I forget, the Light Club will be meeting today during lunch to talk about gratitude and reflect on things they're grateful for in room E10. Well, that's all from me. Let's send it over to Starlin for some sports news. Hey Scorpions, I'm Starlin with this week's sports announcement. Getting started, we have many basketball and soccer games coming up this week. Today, there's going to be a girls' home soccer game against Adelanto with the JV and varsity teams both playing at 3 p.m. here at HHS. There will be a boys' basketball game against Summit High playing at Summit High with the Frosh game being at 4.30 p.m. and sophomores at 6 p.m. Also, a girls' varsity basketball game against Raincross Tourney will happen today in Riverside. Tomorrow, there will be another varsity girls basketball game against Raincross Tourney in Riverside, and on Saturday, there will be a boys varsity basketball game versus St. John Bosco at 6 p.m. in St. John Bosco. There will also be a varsity wrestling tournament at Victor High on Saturday. Make sure to go support all of these teams so that they can hopefully make it to the CIFs. Speaking of which, the cross country CIF happened this past Friday. Congrats to Stacy, Juan, Victor, and Mark for going to CIF and receiving an all-league. We interviewed them about how the season went. How did it feel to participate in CIF? Um, I was very happy to make it to CIF, but it was a very like nerve-wracking experience. I didn't really even think I was going to make it that far, to be honest, but with everybody supporting me, I was able to. It was um, okay, it wasn't my best race, but it was a very like difficult, challenging course, but I was like able to make it through it, so I mean, that was great. Uh, it was a very surreal moment because the school hasn't uh, been to CIF in about 20 years. And so it's really, it was a really fun, uh, fun moment seeing that our coaches were, were proud of us and seeing the school so proud of us. So yeah, it was very fun overall. What are you proud of this season? Um, I'm proud of like many things, but mostly I'm proud of like the whole team because they're very like nice people who are like very encouraging to each other and we all get along very great. And I'm also proud of making it all league this year, which was a very exciting experience. Uh, I'm proud that we made it as far as we, as we did. We did a lot of accomplishments and achievements for the school. Uh, we made history when we won the second MRL meet with all the schools, and we made history again when we uh, got top three and went to CIF. So very, very fun. What's your favorite memory from cross country? I cannot name my favorite memory at all because I have like so much memories with the whole team. We all bond so greatly and they're all very like kind people and they all are very supportive of each other. So I wouldn't be able to name them all. And I really am proud of everybody on the team. They're very like nice, nice people. I cannot explain just how nice and beautiful they all are. My favorite memory was probably during the Woodbridge meet where we all, uh, where all the boys put all their heads in like ponytails and we raced like that and it was fun to take pictures and so yeah, we did that and that was really fun. Okay, thank you. Well, that's all the announcements for me today. Remember to follow us on Instagram at Scorpion News for more content. Have a great break, Scorpions, and find something to be thankful for. This is Starlin signing off. Um, I'm thankful for my family being able to support me in all my extracurricular activities and sports and being able to drive me to practice. I'm thankful for this place. Yeah, this has actually been home for me for like the last 20 years. And so, yeah, it's, uh, it's the greatest place in the world to work. I, mean, I love coming here every day. So I'm absolutely thankful for this uh, high school and the family that it's provided. I'm thankful for family, friends, and just for everything I have. 
thankful for those broadcasts. They put on a great show every Thursday. I'm probably thankful for my grandpa. I'm also thankful for Matthew over there. I'm thankful for most of all my family and uh, my relationship with God. I'm grateful to work here at Scorpion Country, the best school in the high desert, and with all my students and, and all the fun stuff that we do here. I'm grateful for most people and I'm grateful for it. I mean, I have a ha it hasn't happened yet, so what is it to be <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> for the trees and the ocean for producing air for me. It's like a breeze in the lake. Thank you for chicken cup of noodles. I love chicken cup of noodles. And when you put like the, like, the little like, green onions and like sometimes some cafeteo, it's pretty good. Um, I also like quesadillas. They're pretty good too. Cup of noodles. I'm thankful for, for good health. I'm thankful for my family, most of the games I have, and all the pets I have, which are really cute. Well, I'm thankful to be working with amazing kids, working in an environment where I feel like I can really mentor students. I'm thankful to have great co-workers here in the PE department. I'm thankful to have the best administration in the high desert. And I'm thankful for my health, but most importantly, I'm thankful for being happy. So right now, I'm happy, and um, you can't ask for more than that. Thankful for my family, for sure. And definitely my sports because sports is one big family. It's just very thankful for all of it. They can provide for me. Yeah. I'm really thankful for our school system and the education that our teachers are able to provide us. Um, I'm grateful for my family, my friends, having a place to stay every day. Um, sometimes people take that for granted, but I feel like that's really one of the most important things is, you know, being grateful for the things that you have that others might not. Um, but yeah, I'm grateful for my friends and my family and the things that they can, uh, that they give to me. Um, I'm thankful for my family, um, a house, food, my health, uh, my best friend, and my boyfriend. I'm grateful for Hesper High School. <laughs> I'm grateful for my friends and family. Uh, I'm thankful for the health I have, uh, the cross-country team, uh, my ASB class, and you guys.